facts you didn't know about the big three. All right, Bugsy Prime. Okay, let's talk about Bugsy Prime. Bugsy Prime. Okay, one thing you don't know about Bugsy Prime. He had it he, in his universe. Before, the Bugsy Council had separate universes. They were still cousins, though. Wrap your, wrap your heads around that. He had his own version of Ryoko, who he... He was a galaxy police officer, gave it up for gave it up for Ryoko, and for three years things were happy. Also, Prime had Prime had his first batch of kids with Ryoko. One day one day his his half brother Bloody destroyed everything he held dear. After that after that, Bugsy just kind of sat in a depression, which Asakamaru and Hard just literally came to his aid and basically hung out with him. And that's how the big three got started. He didn't find out later until he didn't find out until way later that basically what had happened was Bug Scratch is the reason why Bloody actually attacked. Since he could control the narrative. And you're probably wondering, well, well, no name, can't you control the narrative? Don't you control the narrative? Yes. The duck, old duck scratch fucking got me there. It's the one thing I can't really change because duck scratch is a fucking asshole. Yeah, he ain't the only one. Yeah, Prime's not the only one that calls him cute ball dickhead. Me too. So, you're probably wondering yourself, okay, what about Anzakamaru? Anzakamaru has been married to Stocking for at least 10 years. Yes, he's married to Stocking Anarchy. And yes, I, he does know that she's a demon. Not like it changes anything. Horima, who basically, all the events of Skull Rumble from the anime is canon to my continuity. Even when he fought Karasuma, which I thought was still pretty funny, so I left it in. The reason, and you know, the reason why uh, Prime, Prime and Anzakamaru would like to really mess with them is because it's their, way, it's their way of showing how much they care about him and ripping on him. Some families don't really do this, but uh, my actual family does. It's what we do. Some people cannot handle that, trust me. If I rip on you, that only means I'm just that that only means I'm showing like how much I would give a shit about you. Just thought just thought someone should know that. Anyways. You wanna know about Megalo? Why he hates why he hates Homelander so much? He wants to literally destroy Homelander for killing his Ryoko when Megalo was working on a freeze ray. He was a villain, but he, all, but he wanted to test his freeze ray. He was actually dealing with some other hero somewhere I have across a dimension. And so Homelander stopped him, which made the freeze ray backfire killing his Ryoko. After that, Megalode swore revenge. Every time having a lit, having a little bit of luck making him bleed more and more. Actually, and Megalo killed the seven pretty easily. Like, I'm not kidding. He literally put them all in coffins. That's how powerful chaos lids are. Being a man of science, he never really he never really gravitated too much on the mysticism of Chaos Lords. Like his two cousins. Like hit like Bugsy like Bugsy Prime and Overlord. But he was always known as the he was always known as the scientific Chaos Lord. He does give magic a shot and he's not one of those people that don't believe in magic because his whole fucking people are made of magic. They have magic sacks. Well, it's kind of their, 
it's kind of our it's kind of their replacement of a gallbladder. They have a met. They have a magic sack, which is technically a magical bladder, but I didn't want to say magical bladder because it just sounds gross. <sighs> Another thing, the Kuro family has ruled for literal centuries. Always holding up the value. You know, always holding up the value that they need to help mankind and and push it to a point where it needs to be. But with everything that's been happening in the world today, they really tr they try to, but usually it ends up blowing up in their faces because of how humanity is. Prime basically opting to help them out a little bit, but not help them out a lot because you know, humans. You know, am I right? And a few things about me. I created I created Prime from a little bit of myself. That's by making him my echo. What that basically means is I am him, he is me, but we are different. I used to be him. But now I'm just plain old Bugsy No Name. My gesture clothes are a pretty good indication that I am a seer of light. Because really, I had to put I had to put like a homestuck reference here. Like some people don't really understand the homestuck references because no one has read it other than a few people that I know, so they don't really get it. And yes, like Prime, I am a Dursite. And yes, it hurts. It hurts, goddammit, but we have the better song, though. We have that dun 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 na 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 If you're a Homestuck fan, you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm laying down on you. Um, Prime has died a number of 80 times. 80 in total. But always comes back because, you know, his grandfather's the Grim Reaper. So, literally, he can come back at any time. God Tier Clock. The God Tier Clock is the only thing that deters how long he'll actually stay dead. Chaos Lords still don't stay dead for too long, but if they, if they are God Tier, it depends. If it's a heroic death, they'll probably die for at least two years. If it's a just death, Six years. Prime became an ultimate self when he merged with one of his dead selves during his session. He, ergo, why he has the white, white eye, the voidless eyes, and in Halo when he transforms into his Ultra form. Ascend mode is basically my version of Super Saiyan. And the Chaos Force dictates how powerful you can be if you're if you're if you're really in tune with the Chaos Force, you can become you can basically do a lot of things. Ergo Prime is the only one that is Prime is one of the few people in his family that can use the Chaos Force. And yes, it is similar. And yes, it's the same Chaos Force from the RG Sonic comics showing that the Chaos Lords have a little bit more ties to Mobians than we than we all think. Which I think is funny as hell. And interesting when I get to that. Just saying the the Chaos Chaos I mean the Chaos Lord Chaos Emeralds. Oh, there's something about the Chaos Lords having their own Chaos Emeralds, but I won't spoil it here. That's not what you came here for. Okay. Melly is basically... Melly, like Zig, is Prime's, Prime's longest off-again, off on again, off again, on, on again, off again love interest. The two sharing a bond because they're both Chaos Lords and 
basically, like his other wives, were destined for each other. He's destined with all of his wives. It's like a, it's a thing. The whole polyamorous thing came because I was like, okay, Double has a bunch of wives. What if Prime did it? I just kind of went with that. And yes, Prime is Prime is technically bi. It's kind of obvious. <laughs> Anywho, Harima, Harima, basically stopped chasing after Tenma and fell in love with Eri. But some people still want me to hook hook them up with Yakumo. It's Dudes, it's not happening. Not like I don't think Giacomo and freaking Harima don't make a good couple, they do. But I kinda, you know, I'm not gonna change it now. We are way too deep. An Sakamaru used to be married to Kokua. Yes, that Kokua. But they both got divorced later because she thought that him being a psychiatrist was taking away from the from the them time them and why help humans when you can stay with her. That was her freaking sentiment at the time. They did have a kid, but I kind of retconned it out of existence, so yeah. It does still exist, though, because I made a story where, where Prime and Anzakamaru kind of saved the kid, so it's still there. I just don't really talk about it. Bugsy Prime's other son, AJ, or Argos Jr. Argos Jr. being the Argos Jr. being Prime's actual real name, and Jr. because well, he looks like he looks like Prime a little bit, and a little bit of Ryoko, which I literally think is the most, which I really think is the most like actually the most adorable thing ever. And he might come into play in some of the arcs. The Professor. The Professor comes from my other series, Professor What, which is my own little Doctor Who fan series without the Doctor. But my Professor goes to other universes. Quite frequently. Because I had the idea, because I was watching uh, the one with the Doctor going to an alternate universe where... Rose's father is alive, and it kind of implied that the Time Lords could do this, but they never fig, but they never figured out how. So, Nova, or the doc, or the professor's real name, which, which is said by only a few people who know him. He basically, he basically can travel through other dimensions with his TARDIS, which is a type, which is a type. S. TARDIS. He, and his chameleon circuit does work. Unlike the doctors. The timeless child does not exist in Professor Wood. The doctor never become... The doctor isn't the timeless child in that timeline. He actually was and is the other. Yeah, I'm, yeah, that's in there. Because I'm saying it would have been a nice reveal instead of the other, instead of the timeless child shit. And yes, I am still bitter about that shit. It's dumb. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's dumb. It doesn't change anything between the Doctor and the Time Lords. And it really pisses me off that it's a thing, okay? And I don't care if anybody doesn't like that I'm raging about it. Fuck. Let me rage. Let me fucking rage. Jesus. Sorry that my, sorry that my rage fucking disturbed you. <laughs> you snowflakes. My jester attire, my jester attire also kind of shows off my personality. Along with my little smirk. Because, even still, even now, 
I'm still a pretty. Uh, I still troll from time to time. Well, only the people I actually, only the people I love, basically. I think that's fun. I think that's more fun. Mm. You know, um, last a few things. The professor has like two series that are gonna run concurrently. One in the kind of far future, after after him and Sally kind of split. But way after he, way after the professor meets with the Bugsy Council, blooming maidens happen. And yes, soccer wars. Yes, the companion, the companions that the professor's gonna get is gonna be from soccer wars. I'm not gonna tell you which one, but if you really know my type in soccer wars, you know, winkity wink wink nudge nudge mambo. If you catch my drift. The Mirai Universe was made, and a few other little facts. The Mirai Universe was made in like two days. And I had to redo it because I fucked up by adding Mr. Puzzles, and something about it made ChatGPT act all weird, so I had to fix it. And, uh, hmm. Prime. Prime and a few of the other characters are the ones that can break the fourth wall. I literally made the joke that the fourth wall doesn't exist on my channel because literally the fourth wall is made so irrelevant now. It's just a purple void. Which is canon, by the way. It is completely canon. The Big Three Box Network basically references the three characters that basically started this channel. Bugsy, Harima, and Atsukamaru. And I brought them back because it's closer to the channel's anniversary, so it needed to happen. And, last thing, did you, did you also know that I'm still working on my own, I'm still working on my own RPG, which actually has the big three of Go On, which has some ties to the main, to the main timeline. But I won't say how, because there's st I'm still working on it. So, it's going to be updated with a lot of jokes, a lot of references, and so many Homestuck-related stuff, you guys are going to be like, what the fuck, Bugsy, why? Why did you do this? And I'm going to be like, because, and if you, and I'll say, folks, if you don't get the references, read Homestuck. Most of the references you'll see relate to Homestuck in some way. You know? Again, um, you know, another thing, people actually ask me about various characters in Marvel and DC who aren't comic book readers, and I just say, read the wiki. If you don't want to read the comic book, read the wiki, which annoys most of my friends and half of my family, simply because I just don't tell, I don't tell anybody anything, and I'd rather want people to be surprised than actually have me spoil it for them. I think that's about it. I'm Bugsy, your chaotic jester. And I'll see you all real soon. Or Prime will see you guys real soon. Depending. I shall see you all later. And have a chaotic night. I'm out of here.